Hey, it's Tori, your friend and Pilates instructor. Today we have a hit but make it Pilates cardio workout. Here is your question of the day before we get started. So go ahead and put your answer down below so I can get to know you all a little bit better. All right, we're going to start with a warm up. Go ahead and we're going to start up standing actually. So there's my phone with the workout, so don't be alarmed when I look for it or look at it. Okay, we're going to start with our dramatic marching. So you're going to lift your opposite knee and swing your opposite arm. And as you do this, you're twisting your spine while looking forward. I just want to remind you that when you're walking down the street, you should be getting a little bit of rotation in the spine. It doesn't have to be this dramatic, but you got to get some motion through that body. Okay, our next move is our regular squat. So your hands are gonna be on your hips. Your feet are just a little bit wider than your hip distance apart and send the hips back and come on up. Yes, just warming up the hip flexors here, pressing through your butt. Your heels are attached to the floor or driving through the floor. So you're pressing through the butt as you lift your hips up. Yep, keep going. And we're gonna start our Frankenstein. So you're gonna swing your opposite leg to your opposite arm. So go ahead and get started with that. Opposite leg to opposite arm. You're gonna try to keep a neutral spine, but it's okay if you curve through the body a little bit. Just try to make sure you're feeling the stretch in your hamstrings. We're actively lengthening, lengthening those hamstrings. Beautiful. Keep it up, keep breathing. Okay, now we're gonna go on to our actual exercises. Okay, so you're gonna come onto the mat. We're gonna start with our single leg lift. So you're gonna lift your butt into, it, into the air while you're lifting one leg in tabletop position and then come back down. Yes, for 30 seconds. Okay, make sure those shoulders are locked behind you. We have a nice tight rib cage there. You're pressing through that single butt and also make sure that your hips don't rotate as you're lifting one leg into the air. You've gotta keep those hips as square to the front as possible to get the most out of this motion. Make sure it's your butt doing the work for you. Your butt and abs are working together. All right, almost done. And take a little rest. Nice work. Good. Shouldn't feel too out of breath quite yet, <laughs> but you're definitely feeling a little bit warmer than when you started. Okay, we're going to do our half rollback pulses. So tilt the pelvis backwards, curve through the spine, nice C shape, and you're going to keep those shoulders locked backwards as you pulse those arms. Just breathe however you feel is natural to you. Just make sure that your low abs stay connected deepening each time you breathe. Nice. Keep those upper abs engaged as well. Your whole body is still in that curve position. Almost done. And take a little rest. Nice work. Okay, our next move is going to be our obliques. So lift your chest up into flexion and opposite knee to opposite shoulder. Yes. Just keep breathing. Usually I go inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. But just whatever you need to do, get those shoulder blades off of the mat. Really get that rotation through the spine. You should feel nice and mobile there, especially after all the warm up we did. Um, standing with that rotation. Perfect. Keep both sides of your butt attached to the mat behind you. We are almost done. Yes. Okay. Take a little rest. Okay. So you're going to flip onto your stomach. Yes. Keep breathing here. Enjoying this breathe break.
Okay, our next one is gonna be swimming. So you're gonna lift your arms and legs off the floor and do a nice flutter of the legs. And again, I usually do like an inhale two, three, four, exhale two, three, four, but it's up to you. Just make sure you get that breath in. So you're pressing your pubic bone actively into the floor and using your butt and your upper back, your thoracic spine, the muscles along there to get this motion happening. Keep going. I know this one burns pretty quickly. Nice. Go ahead and fold in a child's pose position and relax from there. Good work, yes, do a nice little cat-cow here as your break. Okay, our next move is gonna be our plank chapeze. So you're on all fours, you're gonna jump in with feet together and then out as you spread your feet to a little bit wider than your mat. Or if your mat is wide, then just a little bit wider than your hip distance apart. Let your butt bounce up and down. Yep, so your hips are driving this motion. You're definitely going to feel this the next day, for sure. Just keep that belly button tucked in, don't let it go. Make sure that back doesn't overarch. At any point, you're looking straight down the whole time. Our next one is gonna be our fascial hip lift. So start with your feet pretty wide, lift your hips up into the air, close your knees, and then lower the hips all the way down. And just repeat this. It should feel pretty good, but you are gonna feel it in your butt and your deep, deep hip rotators. So muscles that you don't really get to work that often when you don't do Pilates. Yes, keep going. And again, make sure that this is your butt and your low abs doing the work Keep those shoulders flat, rib cage is tucked in, upper abs are on. Nice, okay, take a little rest. Nice job. Okay, guess what we're doing next? Yep, we're gonna go back on all fours. <laughs> Okay, so we are here again. We're going to lift your knees into a hover and do our bunny hop. So your feet are gonna stay together, jump in and out. You don't have to kick those legs out too far behind you. We wanna keep your knees slightly bent. Yeah, we don't wanna go too far because then that puts a little bit of strain in the back. And if you're noticing that, yeah, don't go as far as I'm going right there. There we go, back to that knee dip, beautiful. Still driving from the butt, lifting up and down. Perfect. All right. Yes, take a rest. Child's pose. I think I was dying about right here. But we are gonna take a little bit of a fascial hip lift break, so. Whenever you're ready, onto your backs. We're gonna start with your feet wide again. Knees are gonna be together, and we're gonna lift your butt into the air, open the knees to the side, and lower the hips. Reverse of that last circle that we just did with the hip lift. Yes, go ahead and go for it. You're gonna try to keep those knees together as high as you can to get the most out of the hip rotation. So you're, you do need some internal rotation in your hips. We want that mobility. Keep going. You've got it. Feel that nice work through the hip socket. All right, we're almost done. Take a little rest. All right, we're gonna go back onto all fours because I think we have another fascial lift thing or a fascial quadruped thing. 
Okay, moving on to our oblique twists without the middle. So you're just gonna go from side to side with the knees. You can do a little bounce of the feet if you wanna do a full like jump, go for it. Or you can just swivel subtly, doesn't have to be huge, but yeah, let your hip drop to the side as you're twisting in the knees out. Perfect. Make sure you're feeling your abs do some work too, although your motion is driving from your butt. Okay, yes, fold in a child's pose position. Relax again. We're almost done though, we have one more move and it's just a hundred, so you're gonna go on to your back and you'll see in a second, I'm struggling. So it's just whatever position you wanna put your feet in, you can lift your legs in tabletop, extend them out one leg at a time, up to you, because I do a whole bunch of variations here. Okay, so I definitely start with the legs out together. Ready? Keep pulsing. You're just breathing here, keep that flexion in the spine. If you need to bend your knees at any point, if you need to put your hands behind the head at any point, go for it. My nose was itchy. <laughs> Keep going. Slide those rib cage muscles forward. Yeah, bend your knees if you ever need to. And then go back out if you want to. Up to you. Just get that low ab connection. You've got it. Keep breathing. Ah, okay, good. <laughs> go ahead and fold it. Yes, relax. We are on our cool down now. Yes, you deserve this cool down. We're gonna start with our saw, and you know the saw. So you're sitting up tall, legs are in front of you. We're gonna have your arms out to the side, twist to one direction and stretch your opposite hand to opposite outside of the foot. And you're getting your abs to turn on first too. So your abs are helping pull your spine in and up. It's kind of like your rib cage is tucking in towards your shoulders as you bend into this curve through the spine. Beautiful and twist, curve it forward. Lovely. All right, now we're gonna stand on up and do our roll down, which we always do to end off our workouts. So yes, go ahead and come to standing. You're gonna have your hands by your sides to start. Nod the chin forward and curve through the spine. We're gonna walk out three, two, one, hands out. We're gonna bend into a push up and three and, or that was two and last one here. Good, we send the hips up. Walk back and slowly roll on up through each segment of the spine, curving through the back. Inhale here at the top and then again. Exhale, nod the chin forward, curve through. Abs are on. Walk out with three, two, one. Long line for the plank. We go push up and press. Push just a little bit of a micro bend because I want to keep my scapula stable. Send the hips back. One, two, three, and slowly come on up through the spine. And we are done for the day. Nice job. Thank you so much for working out with me. If you want to do this again just for an extra burn, go for it. Or you can do another one of my HIIT workouts. I hope you enjoy. Love you so much. Bye.